Hey my pretties, welcome back. So as you can see, I have a complete mess, a beautiful mess in my kitchen. <laughs> so I pulled out all the buckets with all my gingerbread stuff in it. And I mean, I have to get this stuff up. I wasn't ready, but I know it's time. So I was just giving you a sneak preview. And so here we go, we're gonna jump into these buckets. So first thing we're gonna start with are some of my giant or my bigger gingerbread pieces like this truck right here that I absolutely love. And then we have the train and some of this stuff you guys see me uh, find during my walkthroughs in the stores. So like Marshall's and you know, all the other stores. The only thing, um, this is from previous years. So there's, all of my stuff is mixed in. So you have some of the stuff that I found this year mixed in with some of my older pieces like this one. Um, and then there's still gonna be some with tags on stuff cause I may have found it at the end of last year. Uh, you know, after, oh, there's my popcorn bowl. We were snacking on popcorn <laughs> and I was showing you guys. Um, but yeah, so I found some of the pieces at the end of last year like you know and it was a little too late for me to you know put incorporate it into my decor already so i just left the tags on put it stored it away and i pulled it out so you guys can look at it here's a cute little candy shop um like i said this year they had an abundance that's my daughter in the background making another bag of popcorn we all had popcorn <laughs> um but yeah there was an abundance of gingerbread stuff this year so i was so overwhelmed like i love that look at the, the little pieces on the roof it looked like a gumdrops and i really like the little candy corns right there that's what i was showing you um but yeah i just saw so much stuff this year and it was different than the previous years so i had to tell myself not to keep picking up stuff this house right here i really love uh, where'd i find that at probably at tj maxx but i love the brown and whites on that one and then these right here, I feel ashamed because I didn't even show you guys the opposite side where I just showed you this side, which is um, where you put the candle in. Those are candle light, you know, uh, you know, you put the candle in there and it lights it up. Those were actually like a few years back from Target. Those were from Threshold. Now these right here, these three houses were uh, three that I absolutely love. And I got those from Bath and Body Works a few years ago. However, as you can see, since the years have been passing, they have started to crack. Um, I store them really well. They were originally $29.50 for the smaller ones. And I think that bigger one was like $75 and I had got them on clearance, you guys. Uh, I drove like probably, yeah, that one is cracking a lot. I drove probably like 40 minutes away because the lady in the store said that she had three left and they were only like, I think I paid five dollars for the two small ones and ten dollars for that big one if even that probably was cheaper than that but i love those houses right there and again those had came from bath and body works so this little white tree um yeah i'm just gonna go through the decor i don't have a story about everything i have a little white tree right there <laughs> and then it was the other two gingerbread people i love the trucks and stuff that i found this year i love the tires look at that you have the little gingerbread people on the tires and all over the truck and then here's some more of the houses uh just yeah just more houses that one is actually made out of complete styrofoam i had that one for a couple years very very light it looks like it would be heavy but it's not then you have this one, I call that the gingerbread mansion. Very pretty. Some of the stuff I don't remember uh, what when I got it, how long I've had it, two years, three years, four years, I don't remember. But some of the newer pieces, um, you guys see me pick them up. Uh, this is a threshold picture. Do you guys remember that? It came from Target. And I want to say, was it last year or the year before? I don't know. But I, I love that little picture right there. And I remember when they popped up, I had to have one. It was like people were looking for those pictures just like they were looking for the ghost picture at, at why well, I said Dollar Tree, at Target. So this is day two. 
I had to put all that stuff away like right here this is just like kind of showing you what I was working on I gotta learn how to fluff that snow out but you know I was trying so I started decorating and that's what I was showing you because this is the next day and I was just complaining about the snow I'm like I don't know how to do this snow <laughs> So I added some pieces right here in the front room and I'm still currently slowly decorating. I don't know how to just decorate like one thing, like, you know, in one take. It takes me days. So this is day two and this is what I have on the counter that is part of my decor. One of you guys bought, um, sent me this truck and it said pretty and flawed on the back. As you can see, it was customized. So thank you. If you're still watching, that was like a few years back that I, since I've had that truck. Here's some of my candles that I'll be burning with the trees on it. My little candle holders right there. That one came from Kohl's, I think two years ago. This one, Naughty or Nice, I've been having this for like five, six years from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> it's old. Uh, that's my tic-tac-toe game with the gingerbread hugs and kisses and the snowmen. Me and Pooh Bear like to play tic-tac-toe. These placemats came from Kohl's last year. I think it was last year. Yeah, and I bought a few of them because I needed one to go on every, you know, in front of every chair on the big table. And you got this cutie with the little dangling legs. That one is pretty old as well. And then this one right here. I like the ones with the little dangling legs because I can hang them off the counter, off the side of the counter or somewhere and they can just sit there. Uh, these are my stocking holders. I've been having these for a few years as well. And I have one for each one of the children. They pick their own. The gingerbread, I think that is Pooh Bear's. And then the truck is my oldest. So those are the stocking holders for the kids. Uh, you have the faux leather tree right here. It's kind of squishy. Uh, this little candy tree right here, I actually have to. There, again, there's my daughter again in the background. She always in the background, huh? What was that little skit they said? Singing in the background. <laughs> Look at her. She always in the back cooking or doing something. So there's Mr. Uh, well, Santa Claus. I was going to say Mr. and Mrs. Claus, but Santa Claus. And I remember going on the hunt for that Santa right there a few years ago. I found him at JCPenney's. If you've been around a long time, you remember when I went on a hunt for him. This Santa is the one I always put by my coffee maker because he has on his little house shoes. He's holding his little coffee pot and his coffee. And so he's always ready in the morning. So he greets me in the morning at the coffee machine. You have the little girl right here and she's standing on a green peppermint. I also have the little boy on a red peppermint. I just found this Santa. One of you guys alerted me about him. I think I found him at Marshall's. Thank you again. Shout out to you for letting me know he was around. Uh, this little truck, little gingerbread truck. This Santa right here, he's cute. With his foot in the chimney. Here's another little girl and I now have another little boy holding the candy canes. Uh, he was one of my favorite nutcrackers when I first started kind of collecting gingerbread. So he's pretty old. I actually broke his feet off of the little biscuit at the bottom. I had to glue him back together. I broke him like two years ago, but I was determined to fix him. So this truck right here, uh, I think that came from Home Goods maybe two years ago. Same as this one, the little cookie jars. That's why I kept telling you guys, I do not need to pick up anything else ceramic. I'm over the ceramics because they're too easy to break. This diner usually goes somewhere in the kitchen. The gingerbread diner. I love this one. This is one of my favorite little pieces right there. I just love the way he looks. And then my dog, you know, I have a dog. So that one represents my baby. And then I just have some little random pieces and another snow, uh, another uh, Santa Claus. I said snowman. Another Santa. This tree back here. 
Oh, I think, I don't know, was that two years ago I found that? I don't remember. I lose track. Because <laughs> sometimes I just buy it. If I see it throughout the year, too, I'll buy it and, and just store it away, which is what I think I did with that one. Here's another candy tree, just like this one over there that we just looked at. So I actually have two. And then the one, I like the bottom. I think I was showing you guys the bottom of that one. And then this one right here is also a candy tree, but it's a little different. And that one came from TJ Maxx. I believe I picked that up not too long ago. Not sure I did a video on that one because sometimes I just run into the store to go pick up something and then I, I see stuff so I just grab it without filming. So yeah, I really like that. I like how the icing is uh, dripping off of it. Okay, these are pretty old, the little gingerbread arrangement. I have two of those. I don't know where the other one is, somewhere on the counter. I do have a few snow globes. I just pulled this one out. They're from Target. As you can see the year on that one it got scratched up somehow probably because I'm not the best uh, person to package all this stuff or, or store it away <laughs> um, this gingerbread house I love that one it's pretty unique it's, it's just square I don't know I just like that one a lot I wish they would have put some gingerbread people in that window this one is blue sky I seen this like multiple times while I was in home goods and I never picked it up and then one one day I was filming and I just decided to get it I don't know I think it's really cute you put the candle back there and it'll light up and it illuminates the light and it's so pretty but I was really on the fence. I think I just still didn't want to buy any breakables, but I ended up grabbing that. This one probably came from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken, last year, I believe. Or was it this year that I picked that up? It may have been this year. This little bowl right here, oh my goodness. I remember wanting this so bad two years ago, and it's from Target and oh my goodness they were so hard to get your hands on just like the uh, Santa picture oh yeah but I was so happy I got him with his cute little face this gingerbread man um, his his mouth right there as you can see is chipped I gotta find some paint or a different color to paint over that white chip on his mouth because I need to fix that and this little lady right here she has sand at the bottom so she's bottom heavy and she usually goes in the kitchen as well, somewhere on a counter. And then here's a few of my little pictures. Free gingerbread kisses, gingerbread spice and everything nice. That's what Christmas is made of. Got this one right here. I think that came from the at-home store. And just keep in mind too, because I know I have a lot of pieces. I have a lot of places to put decorations. Um, I love my, my salt and pepper shakers. I have a few, but these are the two that I always put out. But yeah, what I was saying was I have a lot of places in the house. Not only do I decorate my office area, the living room, the kitchen, um, some of the decor goes in the kids' rooms, in my room. You know, it's like a lot of places. These are my coasters. Um, they came from Ross, I think, two years ago, and I purchased multiples. They came in a pack of four, I think, and I bought two packs. That's my favorite sign, because it's beginning to cost a lot like Christmas. Man, I tell you. Okay, this was one of my older, older gingerbread pieces, and I'm showing you the bumps on him. I really never really cared for him too much. <laughs> I don't know that baby is just not my favorite but you know what you know we're gonna accept him and love him even though he looks completely different with the little bumps all over him so that's why he's been around for years but he's definitely not my favorite <laughs> uh, these trees love the gingerbread cookie trees the pink and the blue bow very very pretty you got this little guy I believe he was from the dollar spot a, two, a few years back. Oh, this is like trivia. You guys trying to remember. That says yummy Christmas. And it's just a cute little snowman with his gingerbread and milk with his little hat with his buttons on it. 
Yeah, trying to remember where I got all this stuff. Um, this one was from one of you guys. You sent it to me, was it last year or the year before? And it's a wax warmer. Plug it up, put some wax right there, and the gingerbread, gingerbread man will be taking a hot bath in some wax. <laughs> uh, this train, $30. The at-home store, I think I got this at the end of Christmas last year. I think, I, I think so, because I ordered it. And um, by the time I got it, I just stored it away until now. That little reindeer, I actually had three different ones and two of them broke, so I only have one left. The Coco Cafe, it actually plugs in the wall and then it lights up. And this is also one of my favorite little soldiers right here. He's standing on the macaroon. I love that he's brown. His beard is cute. He's holding a um, pretzel and he has a cherry on top. I just really like him. Okay, so then we have the gingerbread sign, the metal sign right there that there's some stuff on. That's what I was showing you guys. Um, Cause I usually put that somewhere. It usually goes on top of the fireplace, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that this year. Then we got Santa back there, another Santa. He's a few years old. Um, he's just wearing all white with the bell on his hat. And I love his little satin color pants and his gray boots. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have the little moose guy right there with his little dangling legs. Uh, here's the girl that matches the boy, which was right here. We have both of those. Here's another uh, train that I'm holding. There's the gingerbread street sign. So here's another train. I do not recall where I got that. I want to say at home store the year before last, I think. Um, this is another one of my first houses um, that I had gotten. As you can see, the older that they get, the more that they, they crack. So that's what I was showing you on the roof. The roof was cracked. This is one of my, um, I keep saying everything is my favorite, but I like the way his hat is blowing out the truck. <laughs> like he's driving fast. Okay, so these box, this box right here, I actually have to do not open until December 25th. I got that from the dollar spot a few years ago, and I have two. There's the second one, and also the box underneath that came from the dollar spot. And I love putting stuff in those and putting them in front of the tree and telling the kids not to open it. It'd just be like little stocking stuff for gifts. This box came from Target, um, I think two years ago. It was $5.00. And it is a gift box, but I kept it wrapped up and I just use it for decor because I think it's so cute. Now, these gumdrops right here, I was on the hunt for these. They had sold out. I really wanted them. They were $18 a piece, but you know, Hobby Lobby, everything is 50% off. So I got a set of two for the price of one. So they ended up being like, you know, like eight, nine dollars a piece. Here's some of my people right here. My door greeters and stuff. And then this is from this year, my little elf girl with her little legs. And I did uh, pick up the boy, I'll show you in a second. We have her, I don't even remember where I got her from. We have another elf on the shelf. I did buy the really, really large girl. She's uh, somewhere in the house, but I do have him, the original. And then you have Mr. and Mrs. Claus. They just falling over. <laughs> okay, there's the boy right there. Okay, so that is most of all of that stuff right there. Um, I think I'm going to jump into showing you guys the pillows that I have set up already. So let me show you guys this stuff and then I'm going to wrap this video up. This pillow, the countdown pillow came from the dollar spot last year and i usually put that on pooh bear's bed and let him count down that pillow right there uh, i think i just found this at ross was that ross I th yeah i think that was ross this one right here i just found at home goods so most of my pillows were kind of from this year yeah that one was from home goods for 20. they recently i've recently just seen that same pillow in burlington so 
if you're looking for that gingerbread one. This one, one of my favorite finds, Cupcakes and Cashmere, $15 for the cube style uh, gingerbread house. Uh, this one right here, isn't that Kirkland's? Kirkland's. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any in store. I had to order them online. So here's some of my gingerbread people. Let's start with this one right here. All the okay we all know and heard that this is supposed to be the dupe for the pottery barn it does look exactly like the one from pottery barn i still cannot lie the face on this one looks crazy they just look crazy i don't know it's just different and let's not get into this one you guys know the five below one with the flat head i had to get it just because he looks crazy so that one the the Aldi one and the um, five below one just looks crazy to me, but they're they're home. They're with me. This is one of my favorites <laughs> from Hobby Lobby. Right there. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys soon. I made a, a gingerbread rug, um, and it kind of looks like that one. That little one right there was from the Target Dollar Spot. This one I've been having her for years. I don't recall where I got her from. Um, what else do we have? We have the Beanie Babies, which were, did that say $9.99 or $6.99? I can't remember. But I just uh, recently got those. And this pillow back here, I picked that up from Burlington. Thank you guys for helping me choose because it was this one and another one. And most of you guys said I should get that one. So we got that one. The gingerbread latte or whatever that's supposed to be is from Target. These right here, the little mar um, gingerbread people, was from Walmart. Then I have some candy canes that I just found at Ross. And my kids already have dibs on those. They want those in their rooms. So luckily I have a few candy piece pillows. They were $10.99 a piece. I also have these. One of them came from Target. Can't remember where I got the other one from. That pillow is um, from a from two years ago, two or three years ago. Uh, these right here, I think I picked these up at the end of last year because I still had a tag on it. So I know I didn't put those on the couch. That one came from Michaels. That's Santa back there. And I had got the matching hounds to blanket to match that one. And then these were from Target last year or the year before. Some of you guys probably remember because you have them as well. And I did pick up three because I usually put one on the couch, one on the kid, and one on the kids' beds or one on a chair somewhere. So I had to get three because I really like those. Uh, that pillow is a few years old. We just got that one right there from Target. That's the FAO Swartz toy and it makes music. Here we go with Aldi again with another Pottery Barn dupe. Uh, that pillow back there was gifted to me just recently. Thank you again. And then here's some more candy pillows right here. And that is pretty much going to be it, you guys. Um, I'm almost at the end of this video. I think I was just going to... Uh, I don't know. I was kind of considering showing you guys my ornaments but maybe in a different video so that's it for the pillows my tree is out right here i'm getting ready to put that up that's my top hat for the tree excuse my house i got stuff everywhere there's stuff everywhere and do you guys remember my costume that i bought last year <laughs> look at it it's just sitting there like it's chilling like waiting for me to put it on remember i found that at walmart <laughs> i haven't put it on yet this year so that's my tree. I haven't put any ornaments on it. I still got to pull that stuff out. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys real soon in my next video. I got to do some decorating. <laughs>